Hey buddies, Sumnuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to really quickly show you how to get Certling Cores in Valheim. Certling Cores are a fairly core ingredient for progressing through the game. They allow you to create the smelters uh, and the charcoal kiln doodad, which gives you coal for the smelters. So they're, they're pretty much a key requirement to progressing from the sort of Stone Age to the Bronze Age and really getting to the good stuff in the game. There's also portals that you can craft with them and these wards uh, and a couple of other little bits and pieces as well. In fact, if we have a look here, we'll see these require two, these require one. The smelter and the charcoal furnace both require five each. So really, to get started into the Bronze Age, you're going to need at least 10 Certling Cores. Now, <clears throat> there's two main ways to get Certling Cores. The first one is the one that you'll be doing early game pre-Bronze, which is through these Burial Chambers. We'll show you the second way to sort of farm up a large number of them late game to get a bunch of different ones for your portals, or if you want to spam a bunch of smelters as an example like I've got over there. Now, early game, you will be finding these burial chambers in the Black Forest. You might not be venturing into them straight away, but once you're ready to do so, these are going to be giving you the certain cores that you need to progress. <clears throat> so we're going to wander in here. Um, I actually didn't bring myself a torch, so we're going to really quickly grab ourselves a torch so you can see. All right, we got our torch. Cool. So we got our torch and... We this uh, this one has already obviously been cleared out, which is not a problem. I can still show you what you need to see. Now in these uh, in these burial chambers, you'll find between usually five and ten. I think the max I found was like twelve or thirteen in one. The minimum I found was five. But if you wander around, you'll see oh look some cash money business was left here. Nice. You'll see that these these little podiums, these little sticks with the little claws on them, there are certling cores that spawn in here. So this little nook right here had five certling cores in it. Now if we check the other side of the cave, I believe there was uh, another bunch of certling cores uh, spawned in, uh, in another part of this dungeon. You can also sometimes find them in little nooks in the walls. I'm going to try and find one of those so you can see what it looks like. So this room here, this is another room that had a bunch up on these little, these little doodads here. And then sometimes you can find them on these little ledges. Sometimes just mushrooms grow. Uh, sometimes you can find certling cores on the little ledges. So just make sure you check all the little nooks and crannies and uh, and then you should make sure you clear out all of the certling cores from these places uh, and you should be good to go. There's another room that probably had some. Yeah, perfect. Here we go. These little shelves here. You see that there was one little spawn point there. So yeah, just check all the nooks and crannies, grab all the certling cores and you should be good to go. Now we're going to show you what you might want to do, how to farm a bunch of certling cores late game um, so that you can just sort of amass a bunch for a bunch of different portals and things like that. See you in a sec. Alrighty, so we are now in a swamp biome and this is where you're going to want to go if you're going to want to farm up a bunch of certling cores. You're going to want to look for a swamp biome that has lots of these flame pillars. There's one over there in the distance. My torch is kind of blocking it. One there in the distance. You've got some more over there. And I've actually been quite lucky to find a swamp with lots of these. So there's two more there. There's one more over in the distance over there. I think there's a couple over there. There's one over here as well. And these flame pillars, they're like gouts of flame that spout out of the floor in the swamp, are, uh, are where certlings will spawn. So certling core is the name of the item you're trying to get. Certlings is actually the name of one of the mobs in the game. Certlings will spawn in these fire, uh, fiery pillars. And you can find swamp biomes that have none of these. You can find swamp biomes like this one that has loads of them. So this swamp biome is a great place to throw a portal. Name that portal Certling, uh, Certling Cores or Certling. And you'll see these little dudes. Now, they're very squishy and they're pretty weak. I mean, I know I've got good armor on here, but I mean, they're hitting for like nothing here. So they're very easy to beat. And they have a fairly high chance of dropping certling cores. They also drop coal. So, you know, that's quite handy as well. So you don't have to farm up a bunch of wood for your uh, for your farm. Let me get pull my mace out. I have to do a little more damage with these. Anyway, so these guys drop certling cores. Have we got one? Yeah, we got two already. Lovely. And what with all these, these spouts of flame around, they spawn three, four certlings each. You can easily go around the swamp and farm yourself up a bunch of certling cores. They also act as a fire in terms of uh, reducing your wetness, or uh, they also light you on fire. 
Um, no, it's not reducing my wetness. I thought it would. Okay, never mind. And guys, that's how you get Sertling cores. Uh, really easy to do. Um, obviously different strats for early and late game. We're gonna want to be doing the burial chambers pre-bronze and then post-bronze probably farming up in the swamps when you've already done a lot of the burial chambers that are there. I've been streaming this game loads, guys, over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy. I go live one o'clock every day and I've been playing loads of Valheim. So feel free to drop by. It'd be a pleasure to see you there. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing because we're doing a Valheim video a day for the foreseeable future. Every single day, there will be a new Valheim video for you. So yeah, you know, check them out. Hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Take care.